think I found what you wanted me to see. Sounds like you did. We'll be waiting. Stim! Okay, BD-1? Glad to hear it. My friend, it appears the Sefo had some interest in Dathomir. It's strange for such a peaceful culture to have any sort of fascination with a place so dark. Come here, BD-1. Should be a lot quicker than the way in. Oh, 
Hi there. Holding up okay? Good to hear. Making a new friend? Hey there, little guy. Passed the test. So you knew about BD-1? Come on board. We'll talk inside. Oh, BD-1, this is Grease. Hey, Grease. What is that? <laughs> get off my sofa! Get, get off my sofa! Don't get out of there! Get out! That is BD-1. 
He's with us. I don't care who he's with. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get oil stains out of Batoli Mead fabric? Not really. Oh, I hope you found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Grease. He did. Tell us, Cal. The vault was built by an ancient civilization called the Zepho. A Jedi named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. What did he hide inside? A holocron from the archives. It contains a list of Force-sensitive children. The next generation of Jedi. I knew it! Ah, oh, Cordova, you old fool. You knew him? Yes. A long time ago. I was his apprentice. Cordova was a loner. And that little droid and I are probably the only ones that know about Pagano. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. A holo what? A holocron. It stores information, but only accessible to Jedi. Hang on, I think I have one around here. Use the Force. This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. With that list of Force Sensitives, we could rebuild the Jedi Order and defeat the Empire. Okay, no problem. Let's get it! Well, except the Holocron is hidden deep inside the vault, and to get it, we have to follow Cordova's path. He mentioned something about the planet Dathomir and a Zepho homeworld. All right, well, where are we going? Now, I'm just asking because I was thinking of maybe making some food. Look, before we do anything, I need to know something. How come you're no longer a Jedi? I had an experience that changed my perspective. So I cut myself off from the Force. But you still want to rebuild the Order. I believe that rebuilding the Order is the best chance we have against the Empire. What do you believe? I believe I can't keep hiding from the Empire, so I don't really have a choice. Cal, as long as you're alive, you will always have a choice. Are you with us? We're in. Dathomir is Zepho. It's your choice. When you want to go, let me know. I'll be right here. Let's plot a course. Today, our great military is dedicated to enforcing the laws of the Empire. Yielding to no one who seeks to destroy our galactic harmony. You hear that garbage? Turn it off, please. Lying imps. Do you think anyone buys this junk? Too many on the core worlds. Their daily lives haven't changed much since the Empire took over. Oh, come on. Some of them are even richer than before. Not like the expendable worlds. Not like Lateron. As long as the Emperor keeps the right people happy, we'll never stop. That's why we need the Jedi. Then we better get this hollow thing fast. All right, we're here. Get in your chair. Think of a storm brewing down there. This might not be the best time to land. Yeah, something strange. Those winds are interfering with our comms. Hey, Cordova mentioned something about peace in the eye of the storm. I can just make out a settlement in the middle of it. Then we have to get there. Copy that. Oh. Couple bums ain't gonna kill you, kid. Unless the wind picks up. 
Can you tell that bucket of balls to keep his opinion to himself? I'm sure everything's under control. Because it's under control, it's just a little tricky. <laughs> Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. Huh. Perfect landing. Greasy money, baby. Uh, but I'm still getting a lot of interference on the comms. It's gonna take me a minute to get them back up. I'll search for signs of Cordova in the meantime. Good. I'll be in touch once I crack this. Cal, over here. You did good work on Bagano. The more information we gather on Cordova and the Zepho, the closer we'll get to stopping the Empire. I've heard of ancient cultures, but don't know much about them. I only knew that Cordova was obsessed with the Zepho, believing their teachings to be important. I, too, was intrigued by the mysteries of our galaxy. You better get moving. There's a lot to learn here. Good luck. I can see you two have been through a lot. It's not easy. No, it's not. But I think of those who believed in me at one point. If I give up on myself, then I give up on them. I'm sure you have a few of those. Prof, uh, friend on Braca. He sacrificed himself so I could live. He believed in you. A lot of people depend on you, even if they don't know it yet. Keep going, Cal. For Prof. For everyone. Grease, what's this thing? What? You've never seen a terrarium before? Sure, but don't they usually have plants in them? Well, I've been a bit busy hauling you around the galaxy. <clears throat> but you know, you could pay me back with some seeds. I thought you hated nature. When it's out there, you betcha. But when it's behind a comfortably thick wall of embarring glass, that's perfection. All right, I'll see if I can find any. <laughs> <laughs> 